So welcome to the Zoom class tonight. Um, and we're going to start, I'll keep talking, but we're going to start straight away into a pose first. I'm sorry, my mute uh, doesn't work. That's okay. To get him out. I can do that for you. Oh, all right. No worries. I've just done that and I'll put everyone else on mute too. Done. All right. So we're going to start just seated with our knees bent. And you're going to plant your feet about hip width apart. And just lightly get your hands around the legs, around the shins. Gentle pull of your navel so you can start to lengthen through the back of the spine. Just roll your shoulders a little bit away from your ears. And close your eyes here. I'm just going to take a few breaths here to settle, to arrive on your mat. So notice your feet and the way they connect with the earth. Maybe spread your toes and feel every toe pressing into your mat. Lengthening through the spine. Be nice and soft with your shoulders. And feeling your sitting bones ground. And slowing your breath down. And then from there, just gently let your hands go away from the shins, plant them behind you with your fingers facing forwards. And now with your next breath in, pressing the palms into your mat, lifting your heart up, creating a deep arch into your back, lifting the chest and gently looking up towards the sky. With your exhale, just keep your hands and feet round the spine and bring the chin to chest, pulling the navel in. Inhale, press up and open again. Lift your heart space. Bring the shoulder blades together in the back. Exhale to round. Bring everything in. And just close your eyes and take a few of those rounds. Nice and soft. Inhales to open. Exhales to round. Starting to connect with your breath. And just making that movement as slower and as soft as you can. Tuning in with your body. And while you're going through that soft flow, just notice the way your hands and your feet connect with your mouth. Allow yourself to arrive. A little bit more in every exhale. And just take a last deep breath in to open up. And with your exhale, bring the hands back around the knees. And just start to roll yourself down onto your back, vertebra by vertebra. Having the knees in towards your chest. And giving yourself a little squeeze and maybe taking some circles, rolling that spine, massaging it a little bit. And notice the connection of your lower back with your mat. Now from here, just start to extend your left leg out. Keep the right knee in towards your chest. Rubbing the hands around the knee and gently start to pull that knee just with the weight of the hands in towards your chest or maybe a little bit more open in towards the armpit. Your left leg is soft and heavy. And just focus on the inside, either of your hips or your thighs, wherever you feel the stretch here. Take a deep breath in through the belly. 
And a deep exhale, let it maybe be a sigh out through your mouth. Every breath in, you start down at the lower belly and you bring the breath up in towards your chest, expanding your ribcage and even higher towards your collarbones. And every exhale, you allow your shoulders to drop, to relax, and to open up a little bit more into that hip. And just take a final deep breath in here. And then slowly bring your knee towards the center if it was out. And with your left hand, you're going to guide that right knee to drop and fall over to your left side. And then you open up through the right side of your body, extending the right arm, coming into a twist. Just a basic twist. And finding a spot here where you can fully relax your body. So if that's hard, you may want to support that right knee with a pillow or a cushion or a block, whatever you have within reach. Bringing your gaze over to your right hand and softening down the eyes here again. And I invite you to keep your eyes closed as much as possible throughout your practice. Yin is really a practice where we try to go inwards. So this is your moment to connect. And keeping your eyes closed will only support that. We're going to stay in this twist for another two minutes or so. Yin is always about long holds. So make yourself as comfortable as you can. And find that softness. And for our practice today, I would like to invite you to, let's say, think about what's really been bothering you over the last few days or this week, maybe. We're coming towards the weekend. That's a good time to reflect. Have you been worried about something or anxious? And do you know how anxiety or worry, how that manifests in your physical body? Is that there's one place where you always get so tight, where you feel you can't breathe or feel tension, or whatever that is for you. And can you take a moment here to feel into your physical body first? To notice if you feel any of that tension or tightness. Can you locate the exact physical place where that is happening for you? And can you bring your breath there? Allowing the breath to flow really nice and soft. And with that, just allowing some space in that area for you. Letting go into it.
Allow your breath to slow down. And to expand the belly fully with every inhale. Breathing into your twist. And allowing your body to create some space in between the vertebrae. We'll take a last deep breath in here. And then really slowly come back towards the center, bringing the knees back together. And then hug them in again for just another moment, maybe make a bit of a circle, whatever feels good. And then we'll take it over to the other side. So extending your right leg out, keeping the left knee in. And again, just the weight of your hands around the knee, pulling it gently in or maybe slightly out and open towards the armpit. Let your right leg relax and just hang wherever it wants to hang. The heel is down into the earth. And drop your shoulders, keep them away from your ears. Deep belly breath. And maybe a sigh through the mouth. You just let it go and allow your body to sink into your mat. Gently opening into that left hip space, that inner thigh. And slowly, with your right hand, start to guide your left knee all the way over to your right side. Come on to the outside of that right hip and feel free to wiggle yourself around a little bit. Do you find the best place for you to be in for that twist? And you open and stretch the left arm out. Bring your gaze towards your left hand. And maybe support that left knee with a pillow underneath if you want to. Allowing yourself to settle again, to really relax into your pose. So make sure you're comfortable. And you can be in that pose for a while, in stillness. Without moving. Just allowing gravity to do the work here for you. Softly pulling you into opposite directions. Creating space into your physical body. But also into the emotional body. And your energetic body. Because our thoughts and our feelings somehow manifest physically as well, always. Whatever we think, whatever emotion we experience, we will feel it somewhere physically as well. Either as a tightness, or pressure, stress, anything. So again, ask yourself here, in the next few moments in silence, what is that place in my physical body where my worries and my anxiety always are to be felt? And can I let go into that space with every exhale a little bit more.
and noticing how slowly your body is dropping down. Deeper and deeper. How that left knee is coming closer towards the mat if it's still hovering. Or how much deeper it's grounding you think. And how your left shoulder is coming closer and closer towards your mat as well. And really breathe into that space where you feel the most tight right now. Just take a final deep breath <clears throat> in there. And really gently come back towards the center. Hugging both knees again in towards the chest. And maybe making some circles again. Or feel free to just rub your knees a few times from side to side if that feels good. Any movement that your body is craving right now. And then start to stretch your legs out completely. Almost laying down into Shavasana, but I won't keep you here for that long. Just a few moments, closing down your eyes, getting your body really, really heavy. And observing any sensations in the body here. We'll be taking time every now and then between our poses to really allow our poses to settle into your body for you to give you time to check in. How did that pose make me feel? What has changed? Can I feel some energy moving somewhere? So take a moment here to just observe. What do you feel? And for our next pose, this is one of my favorite ones actually. It's called Bananasana. <laughs> so the name is already funny in itself. So what you're going to do, we're obviously going to create a banana shape. And for that, you're going to wiggle your entire body over towards the right edge of your mat. So your whole body. So your right heel, your right shoulder on the edge of the right side of your mat. And then from there, bring your arms overhead. You're going to walk your hands as far over to the left side of your mat, left corner. You may have to lift your shoulders a few times until you bring that whole upper body as far over to your left as possible while you keep your hips down into your mat. And then you'll do the same with your feet. So the hips stay where they are. You're going to walk your feet over towards the left corner, lower left corner of your mat. And when you do that, you start to feel a deep stretch over the right side of your body. Allowing your left cheek to drop down towards your mat. Your elbows to relax and soften. Fully leaning into the earth. Both sitting bones, both hips down, touching your mat, and deep belly breaths. Breathing into the right side of your body. Starting to feel those tiny sensations all the way from your right foot over the right side of your leg, the right side of the hip, your belly, your rib cage, your shoulder, and the right side of the arm into your right fingertips. So with every inhale, <clears throat> you may want to visualize your breath starting in the right toes, 
making its way up through the right side of your body towards the fingertips. And the same way down. Fingertips to toes. And like that, you keep following your own breath. Allowing it to create space along the way to slowly open up. And just stay connected with that breath up and down. And just checking in with your body quickly. Where can you let go a little bit more? Is there a place where you're still holding on to something? Where can you soften and where can you relax? Let it go. And for the last minute in this pose, you have an option to maybe just walk your hands and feet a tiny bit further out if you feel like you have some more space. And an extra option is to cross the right ankle over the left ankle. <clears throat> and you'll notice a difference, but just making sure that your hips stay down. few more cycles of breath. And then really slowly, if you had your ankles crossed, take your right ankle off first. And bring your arms down. <clears throat> and little by little start to come back into the center of your mat, wiggling your hips, the feet and the shoulders into the middle. Coming back into your, let's say, mini Shavasana, allowing the body to get heavy. And just notice here again, what do I feel? Especially after just having done one side, you may feel some differences between your left and the right side. What sensations can you pick up? Where can you maybe feel some energy flow or move where it didn't move before? And can you feel the opposite sensation on the other side? Deep breath in, one more. And with an exhale, open your mouth, just let it out with a sigh. And then we're going to the other side. So walk your entire body first over to the left edge of your mat. Left heel left shoulder aligned with the edge of the mat and then begin by bringing the arms overhead again 
Then walking the hands over to the right upper corner of your mat and just wiggle, lift and wiggle your shoulders a few times until you can't go much further without taking the hips off. And then the same with the feet, slowly walking the feet over to your right lower corner of your mat until you start to feel again that stretch, this time on the left side of your body. Elbows soften, arms are relaxed. You don't need to hold your hands together if they don't want to. Just let your body literally fall open any way it wants to. Allow your hips to soften, all your joints to be relaxed. And your face to drop to the right. Keeping your eyes closed. And again, that deep belly breath into the ribcage, into the collarbones. And you may start to follow your breath again. Starting your left tippy toes over the left side of the body. Notice how it spreads warmth and space on the way towards the left fingertips. Every exhale is really an opportunity to surrender deeper into whatever your body wants to let go of. So coming back to maybe your worries, your anxiety, and especially still in these crazy times, we all have our worries about the future, our health, our families. There's a lot going on. We can all pretend that it's all fine, but there's always something. Just allowing that something to have space for you to let it be there, to let yourself feel into it. And then to let it go. So it doesn't even get the chance to manifest into your body. And to stop your energy from flowing. If you want to intensify it for the last few breaths here, maybe walking shoulders, hands and feet a little bit further out again to the right and maybe crossing your left ankle over the right ankle. Fully getting heavy. Just a final deep breath in. And with an exhale, slowly unlock your ankles, bring the arms down 
And bit by bit, start to wiggle your body back in towards the center of your mat. Just taking a few breaths here again, just observing. How does your body feel? And then bend into your knees. Bring the hands just behind the thighs. And very slowly, you start to roll over your spine. Massaging the spine and just rocking up a few times. Maybe four, five, or even six times. Massaging it. And then coming all the way up into a, a seated position. Walking your hips a little bit to the back so you can stretch your legs out in front of you. Our next pose is caterpillar, so a forward fold, a seated forward fold. So make sure here that you have pillows within hand reach. And you want to take your sitting bones right down into your mat. And you may lift the knees here a little bit. If you know you're tying your hamstrings, <clears throat> you can slide a pillow straight underneath them or just keep them bent like this, whatever you want. You just want to be able to relax into the legs. Allow the feet to just flop out to the sides. And then start to lengthen through the spine. Bring the arms up high. Inhale. With your exhale, you start to lean and reach all the way forward. So if someone is just gently pulling those fingertips. Keeping the neck long, the heart lifted. Take another breath in, lengthen a little bit more. Exhale, fold a tiny bit further. Two more times. Inhale, lift and lengthen. Exhale, fold deeper. One last time. Inhale to lift and lengthen. And then exhale, fold all the way down, allowing your arms to, to rest into the mat or hands, whatever you can reach. You want to make sure that the palms face up towards the sky so you can fully surrender into your pose. And then if you want, another pillow can maybe come underneath the belly to really support the upper body here or maybe underneath the forehead if you want. But it's totally fine to let gravity just do its work here. Yeah, just hang into it. So settle in and find a place where you're comfortable for a while. Allow your breath to go deep through the belly. You're feeling that stomach compression. We're working on our stomach already in line into this pose. And that stomach meridian line is related to our earth element, which is how we call it within the yin yoga practice and philosophy. And that earth element is all about grounding and connection. So when we talk about anxiety and worries, grounding is what we need. So the deeper you breathe through your belly, the better you get the effects of this pose. So I'll give you a few moments of silence here to connect with that breath and to allow the body to fall deeper and deeper.
And again here, just tune in with your body. What particular space feels most tight here for you? Where do you feel your stretch the deepest? And can you bring your breath and your focus to that particular area? And with that, just creating space by itself. Breathing into it. And letting go with your exhales. Noticing how just with time, slowly, your body starts to melt and give in. And that's what we do in the end. We just give ourselves time. Tightness is a lot of it is in the mind. So when we give our mind space to not have to do or think anything. Our physical bodies react and open up too. Three more breaths here. See where you can let go just a little bit deeper even into this. And then really, really slowly, start to lift your head and gently bring the hands back up. Now from here, straight away, start to bend your knees, coming into a butterfly position. You're going to bring the knees out wide to the sides. So you want to make sure that you have your pillow within hand reach. And bringing that pillow behind the back. We're going for a reclined butterfly here, so soles of your feet are together. Bring the feet, the heels a little closer towards your sacrum, allowing your knees to gently fall out towards the sides. And then from there, take a deep breath in to lift your heart up towards the sky. With your exhale, just for two rounds of breath, walk your hands slowly forwards, wrap them around the toes and taking a simple butterfly here. Two breaths into your inner thighs. Allowing your spine to round. And then slowly rise back up. Bring the hands behind you. And gently start to walk yourself all the way down into your pillow. Making sure your spine is supported by your pillow. Releasing the head down, opening the arms up. Giving the head space next towards the body. And if you want to create a little bit of a heart opener here as well, you're free to bring your arms all the way overhead and maybe grab a hold of your opposite elbows very lightly, or maybe the wrists, whatever you can reach without having to hold on to it very intensely. Then again, you settle, you just soften into your pose, finding that stillness into your physical body and trying to find the same stillness in your mind as well. Every thought that passes by, shortly acknowledging it and then pushing it to the side, knowing that you'll come back to it later. But this is your time to fully let go, to be so present with yourself, present with your feelings, and present with any worries or anxiety or fear that you may feel. Where do you feel it? And how does it feel? And then just breathe. Just breathe.
And let your shoulders really drop away from your ears. Your elbows are soft. Your hands not holding on to each other if they're overhead. Your hips slowly opening up. Trying to fully let them go. Your breath. Really allowing the belly, the chest, and the collarbones to rise with your inhales. Full expansion, your whole torso. Breathing into your heart space. Opening that heart up for yourself and whatever you are feeling. With every exhale, grounding the body down. Releasing the last bits of tension into your face. Letting go of your jaw. Maybe letting your lips part a little bit. Cheekbones nice and soft. Nose and ears soft. Your eye muscles relaxing into their sockets. Not having to look or see anywhere right now. Your forehead, letting go of that frown in between the eyebrows. And the tip of your tongue lightly touching the roof of your mouth. Three more deepest breaths here. Let it go. Feeling free to use deep sides if you want. And then really slowly, if you have your arms overhead, bring the arms down first. Hands go towards your knees and slowly bring the knees back together. Take your time for that. The knees touch, walk your feet out towards the edges of your mat today, fall in towards one another, the knees. You notice that opposite rotation of your hips here for just a moment. And then you slowly roll onto your favorite side so you can press yourself up very gently, keeping your eyes soft and just take your pillow out of the way. You come into a tabletop position, onto your hands and knees. Your fingers are spread wide. You're pressing every knuckle down into your mat. Your knees are stacked directly underneath your hips. And just bringing a little bit of movement here. Taking an inhale to arch into your lower back, navel goes down, heart lifts, and head goes up. Cow pose. And with your exhale, opposite way around the spine. Belly in and chin to chest. Inhale back to your arch. Open it up. Lift the heart. And exhale to round. Now close your eyes down again. And start to ripple as slow as you can through that spine. Feeling every vertebra on the way. Using your breath to guide your movement. And filling up that entire breath with your movement. And if your body is craving to go a little bit more free flow here, just listen in to those cravings. Allow your body to move wherever it needs to go, maybe opening up into the shoulders, the wrists, the hips. Finding every corner, every edge 
give it all that space. And then slowly come back to the center. Back into your tabletop. Now our next pose is shoelace. And for that, you're going to begin to slide your right knee forwards in between your hands. I'm going to take that right foot, bring it to the left, let's say, edge of your mat. So there is space for the left knee to slide in behind the right. And then bring your left foot to the outer right edge of your mat. And from here, slowly starting to sit your hips back down. So your knees are stacked. I'll quickly turn so you can see it. Your knees are stacked, one on top of the other. And the tops or the sides of the feet come down into your mat. Now, if this feels too deep within the hips, which is definitely possible, then take your pillow and elevate the hips, sitting on top of it. And feel free to take two pillows if you need to. Again, we're gonna be here for quite a few minutes and this is a really deep one into your hip groin, really. This one goes super, super deep. So make sure you're comfortable enough to be here for quite a few minutes. And when you feel you're comfortable into the legs, you have options. Option number one is to stay exactly where you are hands just lightly, maybe in the lap or maybe to the sides. And option number two is to start to walk your hands forwards. You may allow your spine to round and for your forehead to come towards the knees. Just deepening a little bit into that hip opener. But feel into it again. You'd want to go very slowly and adding on to it a little bit and later then go too deep straight away and having to come out again. But wherever you are, relax and close your eyes. Allow the breath still to move through your body, deep into the belly. And the deeper it goes into that belly, the deeper it will go into your hips in this pose. And even though this one might get slightly uncomfortable really soon, see if you can use your breath to soften. Seeing every exhale really creating space in that hip groin. Your shoulders are relaxed and your face is relaxed. And especially in hip openness, where we work so deeply on our emotions because that's what we hold them. Really allowing yourself and giving yourself permission to just feel into it. Feel whatever comes up. Maybe it's something good and beautiful, maybe it isn't. Maybe it's frustrating. Maybe you get a little angry. Just breathe. Five more breaths. We 
where can you soften? Where can you let go? Now really gently, rise up if you were falling forward. Bring the hands down, plump them down and start to press yourself up. So you stretch the legs out, but keeping the feet crossed. Now you fold forwards. So the right knee is in front of the left knee. And fall deep. And then taking an inhale to come into a flat back. Lifting the heart, lengthen through the spine. Exhale to fall again. Two more. Inhale, lift, flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale, last one to lift. And exhale to fold. Now from here, this is always funny. You're going to turn the body towards your left side. Pivot onto your toes. Keep walking the hands all the way towards the right. Keep turning onto the toes until you find the other side. And if this goes wrong, you can do it without deterring. I know, this is always a fun one. <laughs> so this time, left knee is in front of the right. Take a deep breath in, come into a flat back. Exhale to fold. Inhale to lift. Exhale, fold deeper, grounding the feet. Last one, inhale to lift. And exhale to fold. Now walk the hands a little further forward so you have space. Walk your feet a little wider and then sit yourself down onto the knees, coming into this other side. Shoelace on the other side, so knees are still stacked on top of one another. And you'll make sure you have space in between the heels to sit both sitting bones down. And again, if that's tough, then take that cushion again so you can elevate your hips. Noticing how it feels into that hip space. For me, this side is a lot tighter than the other side. And if you feel comfortable, you can walk the hands forward, starting to fold. If you did that on the other side, you probably want to try it here as well. We can stay right up where you were. Settling in and knowing you'll be here again for quite a while. Closing, softening the eyes. Lengthening through the spine if you're sitting up straight. Dropping the shoulders. And fingertips gently touching your mat. No effort. And notice that exact space into that hip groin. where you feel it and breathe into that space Can you stay connected to your breath? All you have to do is inhale and exhale. 
Feel that breath move through your body. Nourishing every bit on the way. Lubricating your joints. Especially those hips right now. Three more breaths. And then slowly come back up if you were fully forward. But this time you can bring your hands behind you so you can lean back, release the legs. Ooh, and stretch them out in front of you. Just maybe shake them a bit from side to side. Notice how good that release feels. And make whatever movement your body wants to make right now. Anything that feels good into the hip space. Maybe some windshield wipers, but do it slowly and mindfully. And whenever you're ready, you start to roll yourself down into your back. Stretching the legs out. And this time for your last and final Shavasana. Feeling free to bring any prop underneath the knees or underneath your head to cover yourself with something warm. Or do whatever you want to make yourself as comfortable as you can. And then slowly allowing your body to get heavy. Just taking the last few moments here to really feel into the sensations into that hip area. After a deep hip opener, going deep into our emotional body. And little by little, you start to drift off into that sensation of heaviness. Your heels grounded into your mat. Your calves as well. The backs of your thighs. Your hips. Middle back and shoulder blades. Walking the shoulders a little bit further down, away from your ears. Elbows. And hands connecting with your mat. And the back of your head. And all in once becoming really aware of all those places where your body is connecting with the earth. Allow yourself to sink deeper into it, to ground. And to feel that support. Letting go of your worries. You felt them. You allow them to be present to be there, and now you can let it go.
I have faith that everything will work out. I am not alone in my struggles. I accept myself for who I am. When anxiety visits me, I can breathe it all away. Every breath I take fills my soul with ease. I am strong. However big the mountain, I can climb it. I do the best that I can. I am not afraid about what could go wrong. I am excited about what can go right. Feelings are just visitors and I let them go. I am enough. With those affirmations, just really slowly you start to move your body again any way that feels good for you right now. Maybe wiggling your toes and your fingers, shaking your head from side to side. You may stretch your arms out overhead to give yourself a good long stretch. And at some point you hug your knees in towards your chest. You roll over to your favorite side, coming into fetus position for just the last moment. And at your own pace, keeping the eyes closed, make your way up to a seated cross-legged position. And bring your hands in front of your heart space. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Exhale, side out through the mouth. One more time, deep inhale. And exhale. Allowing that practice to wash all over you. Hopefully feeling a little lighter. Knowing that whatever mountain you're looking at, you can climb it. Bowing your forehead down towards your fingers, saying gratitude for coming on to the mat today, spending time with yourself. The love and the light in me honors the love and the light in you. Namaste.